ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a, a good one here today. In the red corner, we have Gazer, Gazer, Spiritual Soul himself, versus Mr. Sus himself, Aiden Ross, right? Now, I was thinking about just chilling off this topic, but this is this is this is this is what everybody is wanting to see. Right? This is what this is what everybody wants to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh in on my and get my two cents in on this topic right quick. So I got my plot points right here, right? I do have my plot points right here. Hey, by the way, if you knew before we get into this, if you new to the channel, be sure and sub to your boy down below. We got the latest gaming content. We got just the best, all around best entertainment. But we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. Um, it ain't gonna be that long of a video. So I wanted to weigh in and give y'all my thoughts on this because this is juicy. This is juicy. So. Let's go ahead and start off with the biggest question of this topic, right? Do I think Aiden Ross is a predator? Is he is he a predator? Do I think he is? A, no, I do not. Right? No, I don't. I don't think Aiden targets a certain gender or age range, right? However, I do think that Aiden is bisexual. Even if it's for entertainment purposes, you'd probably have to pay a straight person a shitload of money to like say something oddly gay on camera, right? It doesn't cross a straight person's mind to think of some of the things that Aiden thinks of, right? But by all means, that doesn't make him a predator. So question number one, the biggest question out of the way, right? Number two, even though he is not a predator, I think the problem is that his jokes do go too far on his Twitch streams, right? Even if they are just jokes, look, because it's, that's, that's Aiden's biggest point. That's his point, right? They're just jokes. They don't, they're not hurting anybody. They're just, okay, I get it, bro. Even if they are just jokes, some jokes have a bigger impact on the next generation than the truth and that's where i think so luminati is angry with what aiden ross is doing with his twitch stream so let me say this about so because i used to i used to watch, i used to be the type of person to kind of like watch so a lot but then these past couple years i kind of like i kind of like distance myself from watching him because Here's the thing about so he he he's never been someone to hate on what another person's doing, right? He's never been a person to hate on another person's success, but he hasn't really been the type of person to support what other people do with their lives as well. Not to talk down on So's name, but so so he, I think So is the type of person where if he can't have fun doing something, he doesn't want other people to have fun doing something as well. Like way back before his spiritual journey, way back before Gazer Gazer, right? Way back before Gazer Gazer happened it was a thing, right? He used to have one of the most toxic fan bases in the 2K community who used to send like like his fan base literally used to like send police to raid his house, say toxic jokes in their donations, etc. Right? Like you could just go back and watch some of like the stuff like you can just watch so rage to what his like fan base was doing to him in, in all his live streams and stuff like that. Anybody would be in anybody in their right mind would be an idiot if they wouldn't think that played a factor in him stepping away from his YouTube career, in my opinion. But saying that, out of everybody who says such things on the YouTube and Twitch platform, here comes our second question. Why Aiden? Right? From Saluminati's standpoint. Aiden Ross was the ringleader of the sus community. He's who started all of this sus talk, sus activity stuff, right? So obviously that means it's Aiden's fault for negatively influencing kids on his Twitch platform, right? 
Well, not exactly. Because... Here's the thing, not exactly. Aiden Ross isn't the only one who was saying stu sus stuff live on camera. Therefore, you can't push 100% of the blame on Aiden. Although, we have seen some of the straightest people, I mean the straightest people, start acting sus after they started hanging out with Aiden. See, I believe it's deeper than what people think, right? Like, Aiden Ross couldn't have been the one who started the sus community because being bi curious, bisexual, whatever, right? It, it is an influential behavior. It's, 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 a, it's an influential behavior slash character trait. So you don't come out, I don't think, this, this is me, this is my opinion. I don't necessarily think you come out of the womb being gay, just the same way you don't come out of the womb being a racist or a pedo, right? You actually have to be heavily influenced to become a racist. You have to be heavily influenced to become a pedo. You have to be heavily influenced to like, you know change your gender preference or be by you know whatever right so i think this us activity had to have started long before aiden became famous i think aiden probably watched one of his favorite influencers or even maybe someone in his family take on that role before he started acting sus therefore not making aiden the root of the problem however Living in a time where social media is at its peak, right? And being in a time where social media is heavily used on a day-to-day -day basis, I do think Aiden has popularized saying sus things, right? I think Aiden has popularized sus lingo or sus slang, right? Even if they are just jokes, in my opinion, such jokes are not funny to me, right? I find them very weird in my opinion. Like if somebody of the same gender said to me that they literally wanted to suck my, you know what, or give them some of you know what I'm saying? I'd be looking at them like they was drunk or something. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean someone else doesn't find such jokes funny. Like, I, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just don't have a sense of humor, but I don't, I don't think such jokes are funny at all. I don't, I, I never laughed at one such joke that Aiden has said, because I don't think they're fun. I think they're weird to be honest, but that doesn't mean that somebody else won't laugh or have their day made off of that is what I'm trying to get at. So I guess if I had to weigh in and give you guys my take on this whole situation, I think so. I think so has great intentions to be honest, like trying to look out for the kids and the youth generation and, and men and, and the, like his fellow male brotherhood, right? I think he's just going about it the wrong way because I think he should be targeting parents and spreading a message about how they should be observing a little more to what their kids are watching these days. Not necessarily, or he, or like even getting some of the rap. Like he said, like he's been DMing and speaking to rappers behind closed doors, right? I'd even be trying to get like some of them to stand up for themselves or speak out against Aiden. To be honest, like I know, I know some things rappers and like celebrity influencers can't necessarily say because their contract and all that. You know what I'm saying? Their managers' contracts, all that, right? But like find a way around that you know what i'm saying like find a way to make it to where they can speak up for themselves or speak up against my boy a ross right here right but because like at the end of the day it is aiden's platform right it is aiden's channel however if i were aiden this is the advice i'd be giving to aiden I'd be more of a person who isn't influenced to say or do certain things for views. Because if you have to fake being your real self on the internet, then you will have no choice but to listen and put on an act for all your fans and supporters. Because they are the ones who want to see what you got. You know what I'm saying? What got you to where you are today. If such jokes is what made Aiden who he is, like in a famous standpoint and like uh, a clout standpoint, 
then he's gonna have no he's not, he's gonna have no choice but to keep doing it because if he doesn't he's gonna fall off or lose some of his clout right um all they know is aiden will do or say anything they want them to because if he doesn't he'll fall off or lose some of his clout that he grinded for to make it to where he has today but that's my take on it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because this is this is this is heating up it's getting it's heating up it's getting it's getting it's getting juicy you feel me i it's getting very very interesting for both parties both groups i don't know where this is going to go or end up but let me let me know what you guys think in the comment section below be sure to like this video and sub to the channel if you are new it's your boy fresh king johns and i'm out man and i'm out He's out.